In the previous video we have started creating this corridor node. In this video we will finish it. Uh, by uh, first thing let's call generate corridor method in the constructor. Let's create uh, generate this method. Okay. So let's delete the throw exception. And first thing we need to do is to find in what relation is uh, the first and the second node. So where is this placed? Above, below, to the left, to the right. So let's create a var relative position of structure two. So we will check where is structure two against structure one. And we will call check position structure two against structure one. Okay, let's create this method. So let's look at the theory of how we are going to do that. We are going to look at the first object as it was in the center of coordinate system. And we are simply going to calculate the angle between the uh, structure in the center and the, stru the second structure. We will use mathf.atan2 to calculate angle between the two objects, two structures. And we will say that if the structure, uh, the angle is between minus 45 and 45, it is to the right. Uh, if from 45 to 135, it is up above. And remember the A102 returns the uh, range between minus 180 and plus 180. So this way we can check again if the object is at minus 135 to minus 45. Uh, and uh, we will see then that it is below and at the last case it is to the left. So this is the way we are going to check the rel relative position of, of structure 2 against our structure 1. So in the check position structure 2 against structure 1, we know that our structure, our parent, has uh, the top right and top bottom left corners that contain all the objects in it. So all the children are in the space that the, those corners uh, are describing. So let's create a vector 2 and we will need to be using Unity Engine middle point structure 1 temp and we will simply calculate the center of the space and here we will need to open brackets uh, cast a vector 2 and now we will call structure 1 and what was the name uh, we have node 1 and node 2 so let's change it to structure 1 and structure 2 okay now it will be easier to understand let's go down and here we will need to call structure one and now top right area corner plus structure one dot bottom left area corner divided by two okay and uh, yes that's it and another one vector two and it will be middle point for structure two so middle point structure two temp And it will be equal to again cast to vector two structure two top right area corner plus structure two dot bottom left area corner divided by two. Great. And now we will calculate the angle. So let's call float angle equals calculate angle. And we will pass it the middle points that we have calculated, middle point 1 and middle point 2. And let's generate this method. Okay, so this will simply return a math.f, mathf dot a tangent 2. And we'll take middle point 2 dot y, subtract 
middle point one y and as the second set of parameters so axis middle point structure two dot x subtract middle point structure one dot x let's format it a bit so it is visible on the screen and at the end we need to multiply it but math f dot rad to degree to convert it to degrees okay so now we'll need to check this angle okay so in the check position structure two against structure one let's create a simple if else statement to check our angle so first let's call angle if it is less than 45 and angle is greater than zero or equal to zero or if our angle is greater than minus 45 and angle is great, uh, less than zero then we can say that we can return a relative position dot right and this will be an enum let's create it so let's go to the structure helper class and in the at the bottom we will create public enum relative position and here we will call up down right and left i think we need to create this enum outside of this class okay now let's go back to the corridor node and yes well now we have the relative position accessible so first of all we can return right okay let's create the remaining else if statements so else if our angle is greater than 45 and angle is less than 135 we will return our relation relative position dot down uh, up i mean up okay another one else if our angle is greater than minus 135 and angle is greater than is less than minus 45 we can return relative position dot down and in another case so else we will simply return the last direction so dot left okay let's go up where we have called this method check position structure two against structure one and let's create a switch statement that will take our relative position and so let's change the object the return type of the check position structure to again structure one to relative position and now with using a switch statement we should be able to quickly construct this yeah in, for every case we now have the case statement and now for up and down we want to call process room in relation up or down and we pass this dot structure one and this dot structure two and the same will be called uh, in uh, down but we reverse the order so we pass structure two first and structure one second we can copy and change the name in the uh, right case so instead of right down we will call right or left so process room in relation right or left and for the first one will be structure one first structure two second and for the second one we will reverse those so structure two first structure one second let's generate those methods so alt enter generate and alt enter generate okay great so again we will implement those in the next video